Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my birthday haul. Uh, these are the things that I purchased with the gift cards that I got for my birthday. My birthday was on the 9th, so last Friday, and I, ha I had the weekend and the beginning of the week um, to do a little bit of shopping with the gift cards that I, that I got. So uh, I want to share with you guys the things that I purchased. Um, obligatory disclaimer here I am NOT bragging about anything actually I don't think any of this is very exciting but I like to watch these kinds of videos so I feel like people would enjoy watching them just like like I do I'm gonna share with you guys the things that I purchased so happy my birthday to you so let's just get started I'm gonna start with the two makeup things that I received for my birthday and one is that Kat Von D shade and light contour palette everybody knows what this looks like um it's been going on for years i god i need to clean my um loves list at sephora because first of all it's about seven pages long there's a bunch of things there that are not even available anymore on the website um but my friend wanted to know what i had there and she asked me what do you want uh, makeup wise because she knew that i that i like makeup and I was like, well, you know what? I don't need anything. I don't want anything. So she just said, she, I just told her to surprise me with whatever. So I let her browse through my um, favorites list. And so she chose this. Um, and like I said, I need to clean up that list because one is seven, like seven pages long. And there's a lot of things on that list that are now available at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So um, I need to clean that up. But anyway, I got this. I guess I feel bad because I know that I've seen this um much more discounted at marshall's and tj maxx so i feel bad that she paid a full price for this you know what i mean um more than anything that's what it is um i don't know if to return it and get the credit or just keep it i don't know i'm such a horrible person let's just move on to the next thing the next thing that i got i took it out of the box because i was actually kind of excited about this one and it's the Too faced just peachy mattes palette i know that they just released white peach is that what it's called white peaches i don't know uh but look at the colors oh it's so pretty <laughs> this reminds me of that one from anastasia that's coming out the soft glam kind of similar color range um and they actually i'm not in i'm not very interested in the one that they just released or is releasing the white peach one um because it has like a glitter infused color in there something like that but this one I'm, I'm i like this one because it doesn't have a black shadow um because you guys know i don't pan black eyeshadows but i think this is so pretty really excited about this one i haven't even swatched it yet uh but this was a nice surprise i really wasn't expecting this one and um the other gift card that i haven't used is this gift card from starbucks um i haven't even used the one that i got for christmas i don't really go to starbucks that much in the winter mostly in the summer I really like their like iced drinks so it's gonna be a nice thing to say for the summertime so um, that's the only makeup that I got and the only gift card that I haven't used the rest I got I, I used this weekend when I went shopping a little retail therapy for myself I'm gonna start with the only thing that I purchased myself as a treat um, just because I feel like I deserve it so hashtag yellow I have talked about this before I don't have a Lush in my city or anywhere near me like in the surrounding areas um, the closest Lush is about six hours away um, so the only way for me to get Lush products is either go to a city that has Lush or um, order online and I don't order online very often <laughs> so I decided you know what I I deserve it I think I deserve it so I, I did purchase a few things. I bought two bath bombs. The first one is my favorite. This is the Avo Bath. Uh, it smells really, really nice. Well, there's a lot of ingredients here, but it's very citrusy smelling. So very happy about this one. I still have one from the from last year when I went to New Orleans. I got a bunch of these um, and I have one left. So I felt like I needed to restock. So that's that one. And the other one that I got was the Cheer, Cheer Up Buttercup. This is a little bit smaller and this is yellow but it has like some like flowers in here so i'm very intrigued as to how this is going to be in the shower this is also very lemony that one is more like citrusy all around this one is definitely very lemony 
um, smells really good and I can't wait. I've been wanting to, um, this order came in about a week ago um, and I've been dying to take a bath so I can use this one because I'm intrigued about these little like flower thingies. Um, so I'm very excited to try this one out. Then I got two scrubs, one that I've used before. This is Ocean Salt. Um, this is supposed to be a face and body scrub, but I think this scrub is too harsh for the face. So I usually just use it for my body. So I usually do this before I'm gonna shave my legs. Um, so, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> uh, so that's this one. I got the little one. This one's kind of expensive. Um, and then I also decided to try uh, another um, body scrub that I've never tried before and it's the rub 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 and I'm not too big of a fan of the scent of this I don't know how to describe it but I'm not the biggest fan and it seems like it's less um, abrasive than the ocean salt so we'll see how this goes and the last thing that I got from Lush is a shampoo this is the blousy shampoo when I went to New Orleans last year um, and I bought a bunch of stuff. I got a sample of this shampoo and I really liked it. Um, I wanted the <laughs> I went in asking for the banana shampoo, but then I realized you guys told me um, That the banana shampoo is actually from the body shop not from Lush, but I still Enjoyed oh, I still really enjoyed how this worked So I actually just ran out of my shampoo and I've been using like little samples So I am so excited that I'm finally gonna be able to use this one. It smells like minty and banana -y. Um, so hopefully, um, I remember this giving me a lot of volume, so I'm very excited to finally be getting use out of that one. So that's it for Lush. Then what should I start with? Let's start with, uh, well, like I said, nothing's very exciting. So I'm going to start with my bag from Sephora. I went to Sephora. Um, you guys can see I got the little bag and I didn't get anything too exciting. Um, I got two uh, foot masks, one in the lavender scent and the other one in almond. I've heard really good things about these masks. And now that the, the weather is getting warm and I'm kind of more able to wear open toe shoes and sandals now and then, yes, even in February, um, I think it's time to start treating my feet so I can have nice looking feet. Um, so I decided to try these out. Like I said, I've never tried them, but they have excellent reviews. People seem to really like them. And I'm excited to try them. So I got these two. And then um, with the rest, I got a pack of these wipes from Sephora. These are the green tea exfoliating wipes. They didn't have the rose wipes. Um, I used up my, was it in the last empties video? Either January or December. I used up the rose scented wipes and they didn't have them, they ran out. But I decided to try this, these green tea exfoliating wipes. Um, I, they say exfoliating, but I don't know if if the wipe is actually like bumpy, so you can kind of like you can kind of scrub on your face. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how these work. They had these and the coconut ones. I'm not a big fan of the coconut scent, so hopefully these green tea ones will smell kind of good. I had talked about um, whether or not I'd be getting the birthday gift or not because I wasn't too interested. One was a bite. Um, beauty lipstick kit and the other one was a um, glam glow thing so um, I wasn't interested in either one so I, I chose not to get the gift I wasn't too too happy with the gifts that they had so uh, that's why I didn't get it I was hoping um, that they had the shampoo and conditioner at the store the VIB Rouge birthday gift but they didn't they only have the glam glow and the bite beauty um, so I decided not to get it and the one for Ulta is a lip oil and a lip mask I have used one lip oil and that was the lip oil from Milani and it left a really bad taste in my mouth It kind of like discouraged me from trying lip oil. So I'm not interested. I didn't even bother going to Ulta to get the birthday gift. So I didn't get anything from Ulta. So let's move on the next thing that I have here I went to Bath and Body Works and I was coming with like all these candles and <laughs> and th things like that but i was like you know what i already have like a big stockpile of candles so i must you know be strong resist and walk away from the candle section and then they had buy three get three feet free from my signature collection and 
you guys know that I'm trying to use up all my lotions by the end of the year. So I was like, oh, I can't get that stuff either. <laughs> so, so anyway, I decided to go with home fragrance. Anyway, uh, I got two little room sprays. One, they're both from the aromatherapy line. One is the eucalyptus tea and the other one eucalyptus spearmint. Um, I like to have these at work um, just because, you know, sometimes we have really strong cold browns and the girls will go to my office and be like, do you have any spray so we can spray in the halls? So that's mainly what these are for um, to, you know, hopefully have a good smelling unit. <laughs> and the next thing that I have here, I got a few wallflowers. Um, now that it's getting kind of warm, um, I really only burn candles in, in the colder months just because it gets really hot. My house gets really hot. So it's starting to get kind of warm and I'm not burning candles as often or as long as I usually do. So I started using my wall plugins and I had to restock. Um, I got two of the Endless Weekend. The Endless Weekend kind of smells like, um, uh, it's this one fragrance from Victoria's Secret and it's just totally, I'm totally blanking out. If I remember, I will leave it down here, but it smells like a scent from Victoria's Secret. I really like it. Then I got, I like see no mommy. Then I got two of the um, orange ginger. This is from the aromatherapy line. I really like this for my office. And I got one of the Tiki Beach. It's a very nice coconutty scent, really fresh. Um, and I really like this one. So um, those are the things that I got from Bath and Body Works. Uh, the next place that I'm gonna talk about is from a Victoria's Secret. Um, I got a gift card from Victoria's Secret and I didn't really know what I wanted. Um, but like I said, I wanted to shop. I, I just wanted to relieve some stress and I just, I was at the mall and I was like, I hate going to the mall. So I was like, now that I'm here, I better take advantage of all these stores. Anyway, I decided to go with some, take the paper out. I decided to go with some um, body mist. I go through my body mist fairly quickly. Um, and they were having a sale for, for 30. And I had a $20 gift card. So I got four for $10. And then, so each one came out to like 250. So I got the four. Um, I hate the packaging in these, these are so cheesy. But this is the Angel Glam Fragrance Mist. I know. And this is the Sexy Angel. Even the names, like, I'm so glad nobody will see these. <laughs> these will stay at home. Uh, but they both, I'm really bad at describing scents, guys. I wish that I was better, but okay. This one, I don't know if you guys remember the body sprays that Pink used to have, like the brand Pink from Victoria's Secret. The bottle was square and then the bottle was pink and the cap was blue. They had different colors but of caps, but the cap was blue. That's what this one smells like. It's been years since that line. If I try to find a picture, I will show it so you guys can see which one I'm talking about. But that's what this one smells like. This one, Sexy Angel, smells very, a lot fruitier. This one smells fresh, this one fruity, but not sickly sweet. <laughs> Such bad, I'm so bad at this. Uh, this one is Temptation uh, Water Blooms. It smells really nice, very sweet and floral. Uh, I, should, I feel like I should have gotten two of these. Even the cashier was like, this is my favorite. And I was like, you know what? Out of all the ones that I smelled, I really like this one too. I kind of wish that I had gotten two, but then, you know, if you get two, you're gonna get bored of the scent. And the other one that I got was Bamboo Coast. And this one smells like, I can't smell this one. This, this one has really gotten stuck in my nose. Now I can't really smell this one. But, I mean, I like how they all smell. So. Um, and then with that purchase of four for 30, you got a free cosmetics bag. And it's this bag right here. It's pretty good size. Um, it's clear, it's see-through, and then it has like these flowers printed on the plastic. Um, this one has a price tag and it's valued at $24. I would never spend $24 on a makeup bag, a plastic and makeup bag, uh, but it came free with the stuff. So I pay, ended up paying $10, like 10 in some cents uh, for four body sprays and this bag. So I think I got a pretty good deal. 
then I went to Barnes and Noble, um, and I got six books. So let me take them out of the bag so they won't make so much noise. The first three that I'm gonna show you guys were in the section in the table that were uh, buy two get one free. And the first one is from Leanne Moriarty, Truly Mathy Guilty. Um, she wrote The Husband's Secret and Big Little Lies. I think it's Big Little Lies. Um, there's something about her writing. I like her books okay, but like she keeps me intrigued to wanting to read more of her stuff. Like her books are not, to me at least, they're not like super engrossing and oh my god, I can't put it down if I, I need to know what happens. But still, I was like, I want to keep reading more of her stuff. I don't know what it is, but anyway, I got that one. And then I also purchased um, from Tana French in the woods. This is, I believe this is kind of like a psychological thriller. And I believe it's a series or like an unofficial series, like there's several books following the same character, but it's a different story. It's not like a continuation from book to book to book. So this is the first one. I've heard really good things about this author. Um, hopefully I will like her writing and her storytelling and I will, you know, keep reading books in this series. Um, so I am excited to read this one. And the last one that came in that group of buy to get one free is this one, the 100 year old man who climbed out of the window and disappeared. Isn't that like the longest name of a book? <laughs> this is by Jonas, Jonasson? That's kind of weird too. Um, but this book, how did I hear about this book? I was, um, I, I follow Goodreads on Facebook and like they'll put different questions like what books do you recommend? What are you reading this weekend? Things like that. And I think the question they posted that day was, um, what's the funniest book you've ever read? And a lot of people were talking about this book and the only reason why I remembered it was because the title is so long. I remember reading pe people recommending that book and I remember looking it up on Goodreads, but I kind of stopped there. Um, and then when I saw it on this, and I never really thought about it until I saw it again on the table that day. So um, I was like, oh, I guess it's, I mean, buy two get one free, might as well give it a go and we'll see if I like it. Let's see if it's funny. I hope that I like it. The next two books that I have here came from the bargain section. The first one is from W. Bruce Cameron, and this is A Dog's Way Home. He also wrote um, A Dog's Purpose, and I rearranged my bookshelves, and now I don't know where any books are. A Dog's Journey. Um, so this is A Dog's Way Home. This is about um, a guy and his dog and then the, go the dog gets lost or he ends up in animal service or, so or something and the dog escapes and the dog tries to make... Ah! <laughs> Sorry guys, Lexi came in and knocked everything over. Anyway, um, the dog tries to find his way back to his owner. So according to the back, I'm not going to be able to put it down. I'm going to laugh and I'm going to cry. The other two books from this author have made me cry, so not a big shocker there. So hopefully I will love it as much as I've loved the other two. The next book that I got from the clearance section is You'll Get Through This, Hope and Help for, for Your Turbulent Times from Max Lucado. I love Max Lucado's books. Um, they're very encouraging. They're very uplifting. Um, and I like that he gets his point across without feeling like... I like that he doesn't add extra fluff to the, his books to make them longer just for the sake of making them longer. His books are usually short, but they go straight to the point. Um, they're very, like I said, uplifting. And I like having stuff like this to read every now and then. I usually try to read um, a non-fiction book, kind of like Christian living type of books a month, um, just to like neutralize all the other stories that I read. So very, very excited. Um, it's. Max Lucado is like an auto buy author, so I'm sure that I'm gonna like this one. And the last book that I purchased is from Jen McKinley. This is uh, Better Late Than Never. This is book seven in the Library Lovers Mystery series. And this follows a librarian. This is a murder mystery uh, series that follows a librarian and her library and her staff and somebody um, 
you know, somebody always dies in one of her stories and it's just uh, surrounding the people that she works with. Um, it's what we call a cozy read. It's very easy, uh, but very entertaining. Uh, you, you breeze through this story. It's kind of cheesy, but I, I like it. It's, it's like a book to really honestly relax. I can't say it any other way. Um, all her books, uh, I looked on Goodreads. There's a number eight is already out, but that's hardcover. And all my books are like this, mass market paperback. So I'll wait until that book comes out like this. And there's a book number nine that's gonna be released later this year. So um, I'm excited to continue reading about Lindsay. Lindsay is the librarian and she's the main character in this series. So. I'm uh, very excited to see where she takes the character on this series. And the last thing that I, the last store that I went to was BSW. So, um, a couple, well, at the beginning of the year, maybe mid January, I did a closet declutter, got rid of a bunch of clothes, a bunch of books, um, a bunch of shoes and purses. So, um, I needed to, not like restock but you know i got rid of a bunch of shoes and i just i just wanted to purchase i got a gift card to dsw and then because i'm a member of the rewards program or whatever they sent me a little gift card so i was like you know what i'm just gonna buy myself some shoes um the first pair is are these little like booties they're open toed and it's nice because um, like I said, it's not really cold here anymore, but it's not like super hot. So it's going to be nice to have like, like an open toe, open heel shoe with a little detail here. Uh, nice big, um, heel. Uh, this is easily going to make me go over six feet tall. Uh, but it's okay. I don't mind it at all. I think they're super cute. So that's this one. Then the other pair, um, that I got is also kind of like a booty type thing, but they're brown tan, like a light tan color. Uh, the heel's a little bit shorter, but still very wide. Again, open toed, and then it has this like cut in the material. Um, and they were actually I bought, I, but they were both on clearance. And the booties and booty sandals, I guess you can call them, um, were an additional thirty percent off. So I got a really good deal on these. So and these are Velcro. So um, I always struggle with um. I have like really skinny ankles so I always struggle with having like this area being very big uh, with shoes but things that have like velcro like this or where I can adjust the back is always good because then I can put them as snug as I as I want so these are the two pairs of booties that I got and then I also wanted to be practical for work so I purchased two like shoes that pairs of shoes that I can wear to work I can wear um, open toed shoes to work so the first is this pair has a little bit of a wedge. Uh, they're pointy shoes. My dad calls these are the bug killers because you can squish a bug in the corner or like of two walls <laughs> because the thing's pointy. I don't know, my dad thinks he's funny. Um, anyway, um, so yes, these are flats but with a wedge. Um, so, and they're very comfortable. So that's this one. The other pair, it's kind of like more like old lady-ish, uh, but they were super comfortable. There are these black ones. It has a little bit of a heel, a squared heel, um, but the, the, they were also on clearance. And But the like the insoles are like very cushiony. So um, nothing too exciting here with the design. I wore them out in the store where I was looking. I do that, I like I'll put on the shoes and walk a little bit with them while browsing the other things just to make sure that you know they're not gonna hurt. Uh, sometimes you put on a shoe just to measure to see if it fits well. And it fits well, but then when you get home and you put it on and you walk with them, you're like, ah, it hurts my little toe or it hurts like the part here on my on my toes. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so those are the four pairs of shoes that I got. And I even got a coupon for $5 uh, starting March the 2nd. So I don't think I'll use it, but you know, I'll keep it just in case. If I need some socks or something, I can always you know, use those five dollars. Now this looks a little bit different than from my other, um, the rest of the video, but I went to work today and somebody gave me a little gift. So I want to share with you guys uh, what they got me. Um, so I'm just going to flip you guys around so you guys can see what it is. So it's this little bag right here. 
and there's some goodies in here there's some candy um, this is the Lind Lind Lindor caramel with sea salt um, dark chocolate I love dark chocolate with sea salt so that's awesome then this one I already opened <laughs> um, I got some also like assorted chocolates chocolate is always a good gift and then Valentine's Day so that's perfect and then there's two little uh, gift cards in here another um, gift card for Starbucks you would think that I'm a huge coffee drinker but like I said before this is gonna come in really handy in the summer because I'm a bigger fan of their like ice drinks and then last but not least I got another $25 gift card to the OG um, I don't think well the only restaurants here in town are Olive Garden and Cheddar's so um, I'll probably use it for the OG so um, that's it that's what I got in this little surprise bag I wasn't expecting anything else other than what I got um, for my birthday so that's it now let's go back to the ending of the original haul anyway guys that is it that is my finale my finale <laughs> <laughs> that's my birthday haul that's it thank you guys for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you on my next video bye